For weeks now, months, even years, I've dreamt about this day. It's hard to believe it's finally here. The 6 p.m. start gives you plenty of time, too much time to contemplate what lies ahead. There seems to be no amount of packing and repacking that makes this time pass any quicker. I should just go shirtless and pin it to my, like, nipple rings. <laughs> but soon enough, it's time. too self-indulgent talking about my race. You should know about Sarah. Just said goodbye to Sarah. She's on the bus from Sham over to Cormayeur to start TDS in like two hours time, midnight. Uh, so I'm going back home to bed to get a good night's sleep and then uh, up early tomorrow to meet her at Bourg St. Maurice, about 50 k's into her race. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Eight Ks to go. This, this is harder than running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to run again. Never, ever, ever. Never. Never. No more running. No more running. It's alright. Never. Never again. My foot doesn't work anyway. The start of UTMB is hard to explain. The intensity is overwhelming. And while I tried to enjoy it, soak it all in, the experience, it's a lot. <laughs> and so I did my best to settle into a rhythm that would be sustainable for the next 20 something hours. Woo. 15 k's, top of the first climb, on my way down to Saint Gervais now. I think it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be a long one. Strap yourselves in, people. Ah. Come on. As I left Le Contamine and the crowds finally started to dissipate, Things didn't feel right. Running felt foreign and forced. And I came here ready to dig myself out of a lull. But not here, not this early in the race. Ah. So, there's like 52 Ks in now. Just left Le Chapeau, and this is the climb up to Col de la Seine. Yeah, I think 
15 k's of this. And uh, yeah, look, so far, felt pretty rubbish, but had some coke at about 40 k's and seemed to kick things into gear for me. So full moon, starting to reel some people in. Crossing it now, picking up so many places. Yeah. Just heading out to call my own now. 84 clicks. That's nearly halfway. Oh, that uh, first 40, no good. <laughs> but uh, I can run now. Still feel no good on the climbs. Uh, but when it's flat, I feel good. So lucky there's no more hills in this thing, right? <laughs> 100 Ks. I'm at the base of Grand Coal Ferret. And my groin is chafing. Right, real bad. <sighs> oh, that section broke me. The legs just have nothing for climbing today. And I'm tired. I think I might have overdone it a little bit getting excited catching people. And now I'm paying the price. That's all right. We'll get it done. And that's UTMB done. <laughs> Man, that feels weird to say. So much of this year has revolved around that race and that trip. <laughs> Look, was it my dream race? Absolutely not. I still don't really know what was happening those first 40 or 50 kilometers, but I persisted. And from that point, I'm proud of how I raced. I salvaged a time that I'm happy with. I fueled the entire race exclusively on precision drink mix, knack drink mix from the aid stations, the 90 gram precision gels, and also a little bit of Coke. So while it wasn't the perfect day, there's plenty of things that did go right, and I'm happy about that. Do I want to go back and do it again? Absolutely. <laughs> Probably not next year, uh, and I doubt I'll ever get to do a trip as big and significant as that again. But that race is cool. There is something alluring about those mountains. Um, and I'll be back. <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, I've picked up another ear infection, so uh, yeah, trying to resume life as normal um, here. Although, we're heading out to the snow for a week. Um, this weekend because my life is a holiday and um, yeah, I'm not sure how we're affording these things, but it'd be good to hang out with Sarah and all the kids, um, catch up on what we've missed out on while we've been away. Um, and after that, hopefully rip into some more training. Uh, I've done something to my calf muscle, which I could feel during the race. Um, and yeah, just trying to give that some time to heal, but the countdown is on for the Grampians Miler. Uh, it's like 10 weeks away now, so 
Fingers crossed I can put in some solid training between now and then uh, and have another go at doing a big, long mountain miler. Look, if you've been along for the journey, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, probably just chill out for the next week or so and probably make some videos again after that. So uh, yeah, appreciate all the support. Uh, I enjoy making these things and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in a bit.